Well, hello everyone. William here from Florida in the United States. And welcome back to my YouTube channel, English with Uncle Billy, a podcast about Black Friday in our country. We have something called Black Friday, and I know for a fact you have it in your country. Not all the countries, but a few of them. Black Hunt, Black Friday. The day after Thanksgiving, our Thanksgiving. This year it's November 23rd, Thursday. And then Friday used to be everybody lined up around 3 a.m. at the stores to get in because they would open early at 6 a.m. And there'd be a mad dash to go get that 112 foot <laughs> flat screen TV that they had, one of. Then you didn't matter who you trampled over to get it, but you were gonna be the first one back there to get it on Black Friday. Yeah, what a mess. What a mess it is on Black Friday. So, what did they do to resolve some of the issues on Black Friday? There's uh, a few companies now online where you can go shopping online on Black Friday. Yep, big time. You don't need to get out of your chair. You could get the same special items sitting in your burka liner, your recliner, and buy that 25 foot television, <laughs> whatever it is. It's crazy. It's crazy in our country, Black Friday. People stand in line for hours to buy something that they could buy online. They go out shopping and they have bags and bags of gifts that they don't need. They take them back. I know they do. Uh, it's crazy. The traffic on that Friday after Thanksgiving is a mess. You do not want to drive in the city on Black Friday. No. Stay in the house, stay in your chair, so you don't become a statistic. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, Black Friday, he decided to go shopping. So Black Friday, is it, it adds to the, it's the biggest shopping day of the year for the stores, most of them. Where they make their most money. They, everybody's happy. The accountants are happy. Money's coming in. Money's coming in. The banks are getting you nailed with interest charges. Everybody's making money except you. You're spending it. You're spending it. And then on Monday, now you've got the Black Friday blues. How much did I spend over the weekend? And now you got to take it back. That's what happens. You buy too much, you take it back. Seen it every year. On Monday, after Black Friday, that's another day. That's another special day. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. Monday, but yeah, but on Friday, the 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 buyers, you, are standing in line with thousands of dollars of all these Christmas presents you bought for people you don't even like. I know you don't like them all, but you had to buy a present because you wanted to be a topper. You wanted to be your own little Santa Claus. At the checkout line, it's chaos. Someone, they're trying to scan items. There's some woman in front of you trying to figure out how to scan an item and she can't. She's hollering and screaming for help and nobody will come. 
It's amazing. You should, and I've done this, you could even go out <laughs> for entertainment and just sit at the malls or sit at the stores and watch people. Watch them. The Bickersons hollering and screaming at the kids and yelling. You know, I want this, I want them. It's great. It really is. Then the husbands and the wives, you're spending too much. Oh, be quiet. Oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. That's your mother. That's because of your mother. Blah, blah. Yeah, it's because of your mother. Back and forth, back and forth. It's the Bickersons. It's great. It's Black Friday. It's the holidays. Happy holidays. Spending all that money. Mm hmm. It, it's. We have a, a term called bargain palooza. Think about that for a second. It's a very big word, but it really, all it is, it's just describing a sale of something. Okay? Just a sale of, it could be anything. It could be shorts, it could be a shirt. Anything. A trash can. Anything. Kitchen, something for the kitchen. Doesn't matter. Bargain Palooza. Come on over to this aisle over here. Come over here. We got all kinds of stuff for sale. Okay. Have you, there, I've, I've seen this. Is, you go into the store and go shopping. What's the first thing you do? You look for a cart, right? You want to grab a cart. And don't get one with that wheel that's wobbling back and forth. That just drives you nuts. Well, there's no carts available. There's no carts. So you turn and look. There he is out there. The cart jockey. <laughs> That's what we call him. The cart jockey. He's out in the parking lot rounding up all the carts and bringing them back in because the people that took their Christmas presents out to their car didn't bring the cart back. They left it out there. So you could run into it with your car. Boy, that, that just irks me. That irks me to no end. Hmm? How about you? Does that irk you? <laughs> well, it does me. Makes me mad. There, there have been riots <laughs> at some of these stores. Retail riots. People knocking everybody down when those doors open. It's like the running of the bulls. <laughs> it's what it is. It's like running of the bulls. There's people running through the stores because they want to grab that stuffed animal that's a dollar that they're never going to use to begin with, but they got to have it. They're knocking anybody down that's in their way because they want that stuffed animal. Ridiculous. It is. It's like running of the bulls. I would highly suggest it. If you can, you should go out and watch. Don't, don't get involved. Just watch and get your camera ready because you're going to have a moment that you could probably post and you may get a Pulitzer a, a prize for running of the bulls that you posted on the internet. Just saying. Very possible. It's nuts. It's nuts. Then there's people that compare. They get home and say, look what I got. Look how much I spent. And look how much I saved. Now they got to go to therapy. They'll be going to therapy soon. Retail therapy. Spend too much money for people they don't even like. Trust me. <laughs> they don't even like them. What are you going to do? 
So I want to know, what's it like in your country? I'm sitting here looking at Italy and Spain. And you have Black Friday in, in your country. Now, I don't think it is as chaotic as ours. Ours is a mess. I don't think, it, you know, from what I'm reading here and how I understand, yours is a little bit more organized. But... Stay home. Shop online. Now, I was saying, Monday, when you go back to work, oh my gosh, that is another day. That is a big shopping day. Monday after Black Friday, it has its own name. The day after Thanksgiving, Monday. Cyber Monday. So when you're at work, here at this Deepin, huh? They're getting ready. Getting ready for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Well, your bosses said, boy, look how, look how nice William's over there working. He's shopping. <laughs> He's not working. He's shopping. Cyber Monday. All those big stores are having their sales because they didn't make enough money on Black Friday. So they're marking them down again. Markdown, markdown. Cyber Monday. Worst day of the year for employees. There's no productivity on Cyber Monday. They should just don't even open up. Don't even go to work on Cyber Monday. Don't even go to work. It's like Boxing Day in Canada. What is Boxing Day, by the way? Do you actually know what Boxing Day is in Canada? A lot of people really don't know what Boxing Day is. They think it's a day <laughs> where you boxed up all the gifts that you got for Christmas and you return them. A lot of people think that's Boxing Day. It's not. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to do some homework, look it up, and you're going to tell me what Boxing Day is. Okay? All right. That's enough on Black Friday. I want you all to tell your friends and family, listen to Uncle Billy about Black Friday on his YouTube channel, okay? Send me a comment. Tell me what you think about box or about uh, Black Friday and Boxing Day. And any other holiday you'd like to talk about, let me know, okay? Because after Black Friday comes Christmas, but there's something in there that's very special to us. Americans, and that's Thanksgiving, and we're going to talk about that as well. All right. See you guys. English with Uncle Billy. Tell your friends and family. All right. See ya.